Welcome back to Left 4 Dead. This is the next campaign, which is the one that I kept calling the last one by accident, Hard Rain. So it's a five-parter. It's kind of hard, actually. Um, it's just that there's a lot of parts in it where, like, your view is obscured, and you kind of just have to keep rolling with it. It's kind of hard, honestly, to just, like, concentrate, because you always have these things to watch out for, and you can't see, like, five feet in front of you, so you, like, this one is probably the epitome of uh, teamwork actually needing to work. So, hopefully we're lucky. This should be easy. You just need to grab some diesel. You want to hear a prediction? No. Nope. No. There's not going to be any gas. Watch. <laughs> oh, uh, probably right, though. So, the way that this one works is that, as you just heard, uh, our boat pilot, pilot, our ship captain, we'll say, uh, Virgil said that we need to go find gas for him, and he was going to drop the anchor offshore. So, we're going to have to leave some stuff here, um, because we're going to be back in this exact area eventually. So, like, you know, we can take weapons and stuff, but, like, we should be cautious about, like, these health kits or two left. Uh, these bombs and such because we're gonna have to come back here at the last uh, rescue stage is in fact in this area so it's important that you keep a little bit but not like you don't need to like starve yourself so we gotta do the diesel and it's other out of gas next gas is two miles so reloading buckle up can't even advance right now. Just spit on the on the only way over. So. Yeah. Familiarity is another thing you might want. This, but not cool. Basically, will direct you anyway how to get to where you need to be. So it's all good. Reloading. Roger. Nice. Reloading. Reloading. Wow. This is where we're at. That's a hunter. Oh, I got a smoker on me too. God. What can go wrong in a minute? Not even in seconds. Honestly. Jockey too. There he is. Through that gotta reload. There's a pipe there. Which somewhere. Reload. Reloading. Right there. Through this playground. These guys are where they become a problem. Usually these houses have you know, something. Reloading! Guess not. Some are better than others. Reloading. So. This one's useless. It's all boarded up. Enter. Got him. This house might have stuff. Just a family of zombies. Reloading! Rifle. 
Reloading. So we're getting close to this garage sale. Reloading. Reloading. Imagine having a garage sale when all this happens. Reloading. Like, ah, just missed out on so much profit. Reloading. So, we free TV, free mug, free pot. Reloading. And they also got a microwave, another TV, a Reloading. washer. A washer. It's two dollars for a washer. That's a deal. That is a deal if I ever saw one. Frag rounds here. Anyway, Deploying and... frag rounds. Reloading. Oh yeah. Yes. Explosive ammo. Here with part two of the uh, hard rain. Uh, now I'm reversing them. Uh, the hard rain campaign. Now here's another thing I'm going to say is that do keep in mind that you will come back to this exact safe room. So do leave stuff. You know, leave this stuff. All this. You know, pay attention. There's two house kits for me left. Uh, so be conservative. This is one of them that you're going to have to come back to. So not the end of the world if you already took a lot of stuff. I do keep that in mind that you will come back eventually. We're not going any further on this. Anyway, which is in here. level because once we get to this uh, sugar mill, what this level is named after, uh, it, the reason it's so tricky is because there, oh, oh, okay. there are witches literally everywhere, so you're going to have to, you know, keep your eyes peeled for that. But if you do, this is the sugar mill, very beginning of it. I recommend just keeping your flashlight off in general. Reloading. You can tank up here. Make sure you only shoot the tank if this happens to you because I there's witches literally everywhere. So yeah, make sure you don't shoot any witches because it just makes the situation Reloading. literally even worse. Right here. Reload. Guns already angered her. Be another one around the bend here. Watch your shots. I just heard it. I almost got that one. I don't know if that's the one from the other side. Is there one from this choke point? I have no idea. Charger down there, though. I can guarantee that. Missed us all. Okay, there's a witch right there. Reloading here. Hey, I'm reloading. This one's gonna be really hard to avoid. I'm reloading. There's a way around her, but she's coming literally straight at us, so. Uh, this is gonna be 
difficult. I'm trying to find a way around her, but I guess maybe if we just hug the wall here, walk by her. Probably fine. Up that ramp. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Counter Strike CSGO, you might recognize this area. That looks a lot like. Um, I don't remember the name of it. I think it is called Sugar Mill or something like that. Uh, it's a demolition map, I'm pretty sure. You, yeah, years away that you can climb into a factory like this. There is a high road that you can take here. Um, probably would avoid the witches easier. Hills here. Taking the machine gun. Oh crap. Don't come in here, please. She came in here, shit. <laughs> uh, you can basically, you know, avoid... You might want to use this later when uh, the campaign progresses. But there's a that high ground there that you can really use. I'm trying to get the spitter out. Chucky went. There. Reloading. Another witch. Reloading. Reloading. Here. Okay, I think the, that's an identical gun. Well, I'm also a point oh nine. You can see that boomer with the shotgun. Reloading. That's trap, which is zombies coming from everywhere. Oh shit. Up here. Shine the light. Thunder. That's a bad idea. I don't know why, I probably should have just guide, because you can pretty much guide these uh, bots. I probably should have just walked up the stairs and not worried about her. That was probably an option. No life for that, though. Oh, there's another one. That's going to be like in our way, too. A little bit. So we have to call this elevator to get down to here so we can get to the gas. As you can see, there's a sign for gas. Like loud, uh, uh, crowd control. Let's kill every zombie that tries to come up here. Apparently, if you stand, if you stand on the edge, it's a little dangerous because like there's like a charge or something you're screwed. But at the same time, if you're standing in their way, then they cannot actually. Um, oh, hi. They can't actually climb. If somebody's in their way. by killing it. <laughs> Just got on everybody. Not me though, so. It's elevator. Everybody's on. Reloading! Boris. Tricky one. Shoot, there's one immediately to my left. 
Head for the sign. Still one head, and we can't like see anything. Our movement's a little bad because we're just slightly wet. There's just a cornfield nowhere. Bill's here. Keep moving. This should help. Reloading. So, gas. Found it. Reloading. Looks like the gas is inside. Cool. Reloading. Usually stuff around the gas station. I've never tried it, but I don't know if it's anything like... Oh, hi. I don't know if it's anything like um, in the No Mercy campaign, the original Left 4 Dead, that if you were to like shoot the uh, gasoline um, pumps, that it like blows up. No idea. But I would not recommend it. Anyway, so this is where we end up getting the gas. Basically, you, as I was saying not to in the last uh, room, you can scavenge this one as much as you want because you're never going to come back to this one. See, there's, a, there's only an exit in this one. So you can go ahead and take everything you need because we're going to be getting into the heavy part next. All right, part three with the hard rain campaign. As you can see, everybody's got a gas can on their back. And as I was saying is that you gotta go back, you can basically scavenge this entire area. And if you look outside, it's kinda hard to see. I should have done that. Kinda hard to see, uh, to add to the effect that uh, there's water on the ground, which makes it harder to walk, to add to the effect of the zombie apocalypse, to add to the effect it's dark outside. No, it's just gonna be great. We gotta go back the exact way we came. Reloading. from a different angle so as you can see we got to walk back through the sugar or the uh, cornfield here to get to cattle sugar coat. And as you see the rain picking up here makes it a pain in the ass to see so this is when you kind of need to stick with your people uh, as they're going to follow and be here so I think we're going the wrong way actually yeah we are <laughs> sidetracked so, we need to get around this uh, corn machine, I don't know what they're called. Let's get back to the building we were at. Actually, a good rule of thumb is to follow this pipeline if you can find it. It's super loud, I'm actually going to grab this one. Uh, and it defeats the purpose, we're in the middle of uh, the rain, but get out of the elevator, get this out of the way, and never worry about it again, hopefully. Reduce visibility is kind of a thing throughout the entire campaign, so keep that in mind. Spinner, better not spin the fucking elevator off. All right, well, I guess there's no sp when it dies. I guess the, kind of the developer being like, "Yeah, that's cheap. Let's not let's not do that." So anyway, as I was talking about earlier, um, is that you need to worry about. Um, so you can move better. Worry about taking a higher ground so you don't get stuck in the water. As you can see, it's clearly flooded. So, rule of thumb, stay over here. We might have to do a little tank. bit of parkour. A witch right there. Take this ladder off of that trailer that you just jumped on. Uh, I don't know what coach is doing over there. Coach coming. The thing about the uh, rain is that you kind of need your allies for this. So, I'm just not making this easy. Alright, so now he's here, we can actually advance. So, take this kind of hidden walkway. And then you can drop down here. And go back up. Jump onto this platform that we were actually on earlier when I was saying uh, about it initially. So, can't see anything. It's raining hard. Here. Um, Don't take this machine gun. Uh, I will. So, keep going over here on the high ground. Fall down onto this pipe. Very short fall. And then you're going to want to walk. Just walk ways. Uh -huh. 
We can cross so, here. This pipeline that Rochelle's gonna buy. Walk onto that. Reloading. Walk onto this. Reloading. Oh, Alright, so I'm on this pipeline, nobody else is, but that's fine. They'll be following close by anyhow. Oh, no, 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 I actually figured out. Nice. Underestimated the bots. <laughs> so, right here is actually where we're gonna hop off for a minute. Is that we're gonna hop down. We don't really have a choice. Shot. I'm gonna keep my machine gun. Um, now we can actually get back on on this fallen pipe. Walk over to the walkway. Reloading. Take down this pipe. Put on these barrels or distillery cans, or I don't know what they're called. There's another storm coming. Can't really see. Uh, you might want to just pull out. a tricky scenario, but this is the best way to do it, really. You can actually just jump onto this walkway here. Into this air duct. I think you can get out of here. Maybe not. We'll just go into the building here. This is the second floor. Sugar mill. No. So, tank somewhere. Oh, hi. Crazy. <laughs> it's another bad throw, but it'll immobilize. Reloading. About to kill the tank. Now we can jump on to this car. Reloading. Sign that's broken now. And I just wade through the water here. It's getting less steep. And then this is actually the same safe room that we were in originally. Everybody inside. So it looks like it refills a little bit. It's not entire. So. Ellis can get in here, please. Reloading. There's a door. And that Come on. Is how you do it. So this is part four of the hard raid campaign. We're gonna be back to where we were, where we're trying to figure this out. Get to where we need to be. Goddamn it's still raining like hell. Like and so you can do sort of the same tactic that I was just doing, uh, where you take a high ground to avoid the water. It's, it's a little bit more harder to see, and I might just end up, you know, forgetting about certain things. So, let's do the obvious one and take the Reloading. ladder that's immediately outside of Reloading. the safe room and get up to the roof of this house. We're gonna be Reloading. Batman over here and, you know, hopping rooftops. Reloading. Reloading. You can go this porch. Climb this ladder on this porch. And you could probably just hop down onto the garage. I didn't even know there was a hunter there, that was just a good play. Hop onto this van. Hop onto these uh, fallen fences and onto the sidewalk. See that there's, uh, there's a patch of dirt so that you don't have to walk through the water. We're gonna actually, as we, as Nick said, follow the light, go through this house that we've probably already been in and raided. I don't know for sure. The yard sale. We're going. Yep, we've been to this yard sale before. We're selling new things all of a sudden. There's a tank over there. <laughs> this, the smoker's got me. It's the one thing is that this tank actually um, isn't affected by the rainwater. Uh, walk just as fast. Not fun. Thanks down. So, Jack, you over there. Just 
still got their TV and their microwave for sale, but they got a crowbar on sale now. Looks like somebody took the mug. This the oh wait, Weapons no, over the, here. The smoker that constricted me already is back. Walk over Reloading. to this uh, pile of dirt, gravel or whatever. Get onto this porch. Probably hold up inside here for a minute. Bill's here. Let's get this out of the rain for a minute. So you can see better because we're not inside. That's the trick is that your vision only gets affected when you're outside. So if you're technically inside, like here, you're not affected. So you can still look outside and not worry about it. So we can drop down here. We need to go that way. Drop down here, take the ladder onto this mobile home. If you can jump, make it good for you. If you don't, oh well. Onto the car, and then on to that car. You don't need a defibrillator, but if you do, the ambulance does have one and two in there. So, as we were, as we were guided originally by by the uh, voice actors, all the light. So we're gonna go inside the house that had the light on. Moving on. Drive a low ammo. Next game. We're actually gonna, we're gonna grab the silence one. So we're gonna move through this house. I don't know if we were in here before, but it's all good. Um, and walk the we're to the playground, which we've seen before. Essentially, it's just the same as every other safe room. Everybody inside. There's no worry about anything in particular. Healing. But this safe room is not one that we have to worry about. It is beginning fully stocked. And go. So we can move on to the finale of the campaign right now. So now we're at the finale, part five of the Hard Rain campaign. So not much farther to go. We gotta get back to the burger tank. Reloading. As you heard, is that we have to signal our boat Reloading. captain, Virgil is his name. So, I'm actually just gonna make this easy. Pipe <laughs> right by the safe room, so I can just grab another. Reloading. So, we gotta signal our boat captain that we got the diesel. We all have on our back. So, Alice's plan is that you turn on the side up there. Not a bad plan. Can't see this. The rain's coming again. We got a signal with the burger tank sign, so we gotta get up to the roof. Signal. So the way we're signaling him is the sign here, Burger Tank. 
Reloading. No. I always thought it looked like Reloading. a Five Guys or an In-N-Out Burger. Because of the white and red tile. Reloading. to just basically just do this for a long while because I kind of have to wait for hey, I'm There's a pipe bomb here. the captain to get his boat out here. Reloading! Thank you. Pipe bomb out! Next one. Those bombs don't do anything really for you. The zombies off of your ass, that's really all it does. Tank is down. Gun like Almost dead. out of ammo. So I'm gonna grab a new gun. Molotov. We've been down here before. I'm gonna go back up to the roof so that I can walk my own pace. Coming, don't worry that. It's a bit of a Only I could be. Good I am. Since we know the ward, might as well throw it. It's over right there, too. Don't know if we got the smoke, I didn't see it in the chat log, so probably not. I do have to be aware of that. I could see a smoke and that was about it. Now I have no idea. I hear him. It's nerve wracking. Reloading. No idea where that smoker went. Just like earlier, I had no idea where the smoker went. There he is. He went all around the entire building. And I saw him way over here. Okay. Tank. Can we just break uh, common physics for a second? And just throw uh, fire into a pool of water. That was easy. Reloading. Grabbing a bile jar. Ammo here. If you could find an adrenaline shot. I could just run like hell as soon as the boat gets here. Another tank, I don't know. Let's we'll get the zombies off our tail. Oh, the boat is here. Probably should just deal with this though, because it's going to cause a headache later. The boat is in fact here. I just fell down. Oh god, hi. Hello. Um, Mr. Tank. Can you be reasonable with me for a second, please? Uh, I guess not. Don't chill me up, please, gamer. Thank you. So we're just gonna have to take these pills and uh, pray that everything goes okay. Tank is down. Now we just gotta get the hell over to the boat. Shouldn't be that difficult. Me and Rochelle are a little damaged. More than I do. There's another tank. Just get on the boat. Just don't even worry about it. Just get the hell out of here <laughs> safely. Again, thank God. That was a rush at the end. So thank you, Hard Rain. Couldn't keep us down this time. So thanks for watching the Hard Rain campaign. Hopefully it was... Uh, enjoyable first off and maybe if uh, this caused a headache for you uh, good for you if it didn't that's fine uh, it's probably better off that way so anyway thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon take care